Hi, got some great news for you today. God is alive. He's still doing miracles. And I have had the pleasure and a great experience to travel the world and take God's healing ministry wherever the doors have opened. And this was one in Hungary. After the uh, Berlin Wall had gone down, Eastern Europe opened up. And this lady was brought in a wheelchair. She had some disc, disc problems in her spine. And I believe she'd had an operation and she couldn't walk properly. She could stand at times and could not walk. And so she, her life was in a wheelchair. Well, we ministered to her. She got out of the wheelchair and she walked perfectly. That's exciting. Now, people say, oh, well, listen to me. No, all wells. I'm telling you that God is a healer. That's part of our Christian heritage. There is no religion in this world like Christianity where God promises to heal the sick. In fact, if you remember what Jesus said, his last commandments in the book of Mark, he said, go in all the world, preach the gospel to those who believe and are baptized, they shall be saved. And to the ones taking the good news, he said, part of his message was, you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Everybody, you should pray for your family, your children, anytime they're sick. But see, it doesn't work unless you start to believe. And when you believe something, you speak it. You see, the healing ministry is in the power of our tongue. It's what we believe in our heart. When we speak with our mouth, healing takes place. Now, you don't believe everything straight away. We grow in everything in life. Christianity is a growing experience. It never stops. But it was one of the great signs that God told the church they should do. And you see, like here, what do you think happens when a person like that gets out of a wheelchair? It raises faith in people's hearts. Then they want to be ministered to. Then they'll also want to be know how do we become Christians? Because talking words alone doesn't always convince people. But if they see a cripple, a crippled child, somebody like this that is, you know, persecuted by an infirmity, they see them well, the people rejoice. It creates joy, peace, and happiness. Now, we're not talking about some mystical uh, occult thing. I'm talking to you about the pure word of God. God commissioned, he broke the curse through Jesus on the cross so we now by faith can believe him for all the promises. There are thousands of promises in the Bible. I'm telling you, they are all yes and amen. And God bless, God bless you today. I, I would suggest you begin to search, pray. Ask God to show you where there is somewhere where you can go and be prayed for. Christianity. Many churches operate this way and we'll pray for you. If you're anywhere near the Gold Coast where we are, you're always welcome. We have a regular healing service every Wednesday morning and in every church service, we make it available for people to come out and be ministered to. We constantly see miracles and people's conditions change. God bless you today. This is the good news for you.